Today's model is a beautiful five bedrooms, three bathroom, two car garage with a bedroom downstairs. Let's have a look, let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Orlando Home Show where strategy matters, passion rules and guys today's model is a beautiful five bedrooms, three bathroom, two car garage, over 2500 square foot. It's about 2582 square foot to be precise on a 50 by 110 or bigger lot. Now the good thing about this builder is that everything is included in the price which I will tell you more but what I love about this house is that you have a really nice long driveway with the pavers included so you have this nice two-car garage behind it's a really nice driveway but what I also love is that you have these pavers that kind of leads to your front posh area and look at this there's a beautiful stone elevation with this nice decorative pillar but you have this really nice kind of a front yard right over here which is something that i really love and especially if you have the lot on the water or right across from a retention pond the the breeze on a beautiful day like this would be fantastic so it's really nice and then you have this nice walkway that kind of leads you to your main house so let's go inside and check rest of this beautiful house out Hello, hello, and welcome to another beautiful model. Now guys, if you are looking to buy a house anywhere in Central Florida, Tampa, Tampa Bay, Orlando area, this is a great resource. So please press that thumbs up button, show us some love because we bring you model homes throughout Central Florida and Tampa area. And one thing that I'm trying to do now is that I'm trying to get you all the floor plans with most of the builders that we work with that are building in Central Florida and Tampa area because it's one thing to look at a floor plan on a paper, but it's completely different. And don't ask me why, but sometimes these builders are going to have like 10 or 12 different floor plans, but they'll only have three or four models. And I have had a lot of clients ask me, hey, have you done this model with this builder? Or have you done this model or this floor plan with this builder? So this is not a decorative model, but this is a house that is available. It's a beautiful five bedrooms, three bathroom with a loft, two car garage on a 50 by 10, 110 minimum. There is a CDD, which is about $166 and the HOA is just about $106. There is a 24 seven gym, a pool, a beautiful clubhouse and your HOA includes your internet. So that is come, uh, kind of very different than what I have seen because most of the time the HOA does not include anything other than your common areas. The other thing is the price of this house is $683,990, pretty much $684. I don't know why they always do the way they do it, uh, but this is everything included. So if you just look at the flooring, you look at the tile, you look at the upgrades, everything is included and right now for any house in this specific community with this builder that closes in september and october you will get four percent towards your closing cost and prepaid and what they do is they call this a flex money so you could use that money to buy points to be able to get a lower interest rate or you can reduce it in terms of the price of the house if you are buying if you are buying cash and they are flexible in that regards so the first thing you're going to notice is the ceiling height which is 9.4 with this beautiful eight foot door this is a standard feature with the builder and it's included in the price you have this mvp flooring right over here but what i love is that you have a really nice hallway you know how sometimes you have a house that pretty much starts right there because there are stairs especially on a two uh, two-story home but i like that you have a little walkway and then you have your secondary bedroom or first secondary bedroom right over here this could be great for an office space or now that you're going to be closer to disney it could be a nice guest room if you want to so if you have family visiting you they have their own room they're the very front there's a bathroom right next to it they didn't make this into a suite because that's the only full bathroom available on this floor so that is kind of nice so that you know if you are working downstairs there is a bathroom that is available or if you have guests come over you have your privacy upstairs so it's a 9-4 ceiling with this beautiful window bringing in a good amount of light not a really huge fan of these doors but it's good and this is not an eight foot, it's a standard six eight. Some of their models actually or some of their inventory home has the eight foot door 
all throughout. And this is the first secondary bathroom, which is a walk-in frame shower. But what I love about this is that they use the tile, the flooring tile over here goes all the way up and you have this beautiful transom bringing in a good amount of light. And this is the color of your uh, quartz over here. But good thing is that they're all curved and you have this white beautiful cabinet. Now this is a package, so please keep in mind you may have a different model which may have a different color tile or, or it, may, it may not have the MVP flooring, it may have the tile. So that is something to keep in mind. But what I also like is that you have this cavity right underneath your staircase which kind of goes around so it's a really nice storage space and if you have a four-legged friend or if you get into trouble like i do every now and then with the wi-fi I, I call my wife a wi-fi every now and then but just for fun if you get into trouble with her then that is something that you can use that as a doghouse i guess but this is over here i'm going to take you upstairs in just a moment but let me go ahead and show you the garage because i want to point a couple of things in the garage this is a concrete block. Now, believe me, we have seen some homes in Winter Garden, Windermere area, the New Horizon area. They're building five, six, seven hundred thousand dollar home all frame, wood frame with the pad. I'm not a huge fan of that, but that's what they are doing. And, and the location is fantastic and people are buying because of the location, the schools and everything. But this is a really nice alternate. It's, it's a really nice house because you're just about 10 to 15 minutes to the airport and about 15 to 20 minutes to Lake Nona area, which is the next happening area. And there's so much growth that is coming. So you also have your uh, garage opener right there, which is an automated garage opener. And then you have the concrete block. And this is these things that you see every now and then. This is a common thing, like you can see this crack going all the way through. This is basically a settling crack, which is a very common thing in Florida. One thing that I will do is get my garage epoxied the, the day after or within a week or two when I move in, because that's exactly what I did in my house. Now, as I walk over here, the whole house kind of opens up. I love that you have these six panels of window right there, or actually three panels with the double window. It's really nice, but look at all the space you have there. There's so much things. You have your TV, your family room, you do what you gotta do, and then you can cook over there. Now this house does come with a covered lanai space, which I'll take you in a minute, but you have this nice big window. You have your double oven over here. You have the broiler and then your oven over here. And this is something that is included in the price. So you don't have to pay anything extra, but you have this really nice size. You know, it's a really nice size island. The other one that I did over here was a little bit more longer, but this is pretty comfortable because the house is more like, because this is more of a, a vertical house. So you will have more of a yard space to be able to build a decent sized pool. But when you have everything on a ranch style or a single story, you don't get a lot of room to be able to build a pool unless your lot is at least 60 and up. And, and it has to be a little bit more deeper. So that is something to keep in mind. I love that you have this nice, tile as a backsplash. Now they are going to put something and it's good that it went outside, but this is what you get in the price that I just quoted you. So just keep those things in mind. You also have this nice walk-in pantry and now Builder is just finishing up on things. So he has some boxes and all that, but it's a pretty decent size space. And I like that you have this little coffee or a bread station right over there. So it's a really nice property. So let me go ahead and take you outside to the covered lanai space. Now, one thing that is something that you should do um, is to get the screen. You have this really nice size lanai. It would have been fantastic if they would have extended it till that point, but this is something that you get within the price. And look at the size of your lot, guys. It goes all the way pretty much till here. So, and this is a conservation lot. So you have a lot of space to be able to build a pool if that's what you want to do. It's in a very, very good community and, and the schools are pretty decent in this specific area. There's not a lot of land that is available in Orlando or Orange County for that matter. And the prices have gone up. And yes, I know with the way the market is with the interest rate, there's a lot of people that are kind of waiting on the fence. And, and I always tell them guys, rates are what rates are. What you need to really figure it out is if you can afford the house with your down payment and with your current situation, because when the rates go down, property values will go up. So you're always going to be in that circle 
to be able to buy your own house. And I know of people that said, oh, the values are going really up, I'm gonna wait. Now, when I call them, they said, oh, you know what, the rates are really up, so I'm gonna wait for the rates to come down. So that cycle will continue, and I not only say that, but I have personally done that. I built and closed on a home um, myself, and I can tell you when the rates go down, I will refinance. And if they don't go down, I am good where I am because I've got a very good rate with the current market as we speak. And then if they go up, I already had a good rate to start with. The point is that the house that I built already has good equity in it because when I started it almost a year and a half ago, it was the base price and the base price of that specific house now is like $70,000 more. So that is something to kind of think about. So the question is, does this work for me? So let's go upstairs and check rest of this house out. So as I come upstairs, you're gonna have your master bedroom, you're gonna have the other bedrooms with another bathroom. You do have a loft space over here and your, your height on the second floor is going to be about eight foot. Now, please keep in mind that on the second floor, it's going to be a wood frame house because that's very, very common. You're gonna have the, the block CDD construction downstairs and then you have your frame construction on the second floor. And that is pretty much the case with most of the builders, unless it's a DR Horton, which basically does block over block. And some of the Tall Brothers and some of the Jones Home uh, models are block over block, but for the most part, it's always going to be frame on top of the block for the second floor. So just keep that in mind. So you have this really nice space and then right adjacent to it is your other bedroom and it's a really nice good size and i'm going to go all the way in the corner to be able to show you so you have your regular six eight door right over there it's a sliding door nothing exceptional or great but you have this nice window a really nice good size and then you have the sliding doors that i was talking about in terms of your closet space so as I go around, you have this laundry space right over here. Now it doesn't have a wash station. You know, I did another model that had a wash station roughings, but this is pretty comfortable. Your laundry is here, your master bedroom is over, over here. And let me go ahead and take you right over here. Before I get to that point, this is your bathroom over here with this beautiful tiles, kind of same tiles that we saw downstairs going all the way up. They're usually what I've seen in the older models, they will only go till this point and then above that you would have to pay extra. With this builder, everything is inclusive. This is the lot, this is the price, take it or leave it. So just keep those things in mind. And then right over here, you have the double sink. What I will tell you is that their undermount sink is a little bit more deeper than what I have seen, or at least they look more deeper. And then right over here is your space or the closet space for your towel and everything else. So you have this nice closet space right there. And then right around over here is your other bedroom and they're pretty similar. Now I always talk about this guys that it's about the square footage. Don't get hung up on it. Like I, I mean to say that, that it should not be about the square footage. Just make sure that the flow of the house works for you and your family, husband, wife, two kids, have a place downstairs for guests, has a room to be able to work out of. That is something. Now guys, if you are gonna build from scratch, make sure to check out my ultimate guide to building a brand new home or buying a resale because that's where I talk about inspection, that's where I talk about what you should do if you're building from ground zero, the design center options. There's so many videos that I'm creating for you to be able to give and I recently got a first-hand experience building my own home and boy oh boy, I thought I knew a lot, which I do, but the things that I learned when I build my own house. So if you haven't watched that video, it is released. Make sure to do that and thank you so much. I also just released my team video. so. Just make sure to watch them so you know who you would be working with, who else I have on my team, how we do things as we do. Now you have this nice walk-in closet area right over here, so pretty comfortable. You know, um, it's good that it's not the sliding door because I always prefer this as, as the best option in terms of your closet space. And then right across from it is your other bedroom pretty much very similar size. I would have really loved some extra lights over there. Now, please keep in mind when the builder gives you the house, they're not gonna have, you will have that little thing over there, but you will not have the light fixture. So you will have the place to put the light fixture 
and you can actually have a fan light. That's what I did in my house. Um, you know, and, and I also got extra light because I build by going through a design center. So those are the things to keep in mind. And then you have this really nice walk-in closet space. Now let me take you around to the master bedroom and a master bathroom. It's a really huge master bedroom with a really good size closet. I hope you are getting a lot of value. So make sure to press that thumbs up button. And if you are not sure about which area you want to live in, make sure to check out Orlando Living with D. That's where I'm going to talk about Orlando, Tampa, Tampa Bay area. It will give you a very good idea of different suburban areas that we have in Central Florida and Tampa. But look at this master bedroom. Wow, look at this. Isn't that huge? This is a really good size. I would have definitely loved extra lights. I always say that you want to get extra lights in your flex room, in your loft, and in your master bedroom. When you have a room as big as this, it's a beautiful, nice, hot, sunny day. So it's bringing in a lot of light. But this is Florida, this is Orlando. Like next minute, it could be raining like no other day tomorrow. And then after the rain is done, it would be beautiful sunshine and rainbows and it's nice humid and sticky. Well, let me go to your master bathroom and you have a walk-in frame shower over here with the transom. What I love is that they have these tiles. Now they have made this a standard on all their inventory home. This is how they do. They are having a gourmet kitchen in there. They have these upgraded tiles for the flooring. And then you also have this really nice double sink with the white cabinets, which is very similar to what we saw downstairs. And then right over here is your closet space over here. Look at the amount of closet space you have right there. And then right across is your water closet. I used to say toilet and I was told it is a water closet. So good space right there. And then look at your master cl closet space. Like look at this. This is your master closet. Like wow. You can really have a nice island here. If I was you, I'd probably go and get one of those IKEA or California closet or closet by design. And I'll probably use all this space because I just don't know why they always just do this with these wire racks. I mean like I have seen that in a home that's five, six hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, and even over a million dollars. I, I wonder why they wouldn't just get a beautiful custom closet to create more value. Well, please keep in mind when you call me and my team, you're gonna be talking to somebody, their job is to connect you with the right agent, whether that be me or anybody else. Our services to you is free, so when you are on the internet filling out those forms, let them know you have an agent, whether that be us or anybody else. And choosing the right agent is really important, so make sure to read our reviews, check us out on Google, Facebook, Zillow, read our reviews because we are very good at what we do. And one thing that my team is very, very good at is we follow up and we make sure that when you are down here, we have done our homework to show you what fits your criteria and your budget. And again, if Spanish is your main language, make sure to check out Orlando Home Show in Espanol, I'm run by amazing Anna Karina. We do all these models in Spanish also. So please keep that in mind until the next one. Thank you for watching, bye for now.